Fire Pioneers. Happy Friday. Today is Friday, February 26th, 2021. And we are so excited to be here with you today. Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Remove hats, caps, anything else that might be on your head. Place your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, everybody, stay on your feet and get your hands up, ready to sing our school song along with Mr. Riley. Here we go. Hey, everybody. Awesome job, Mr. Riley. Thank you so much. Boys and girls, I've got some exciting news for you. It looks like the school is officially going to reopen on March 15th, which is an asynchronous Monday. So those of you who are returning to campus will be coming back on Tuesday, March 16th. Of course, that's a few weeks away, and we have so many details left to work out, but we want you to watch the reopening video because there are gonna be some changes that you really need to know about. So we dropped the reopening video into grade level seesaws yesterday, and we want all of you to take 11 minutes and 42 seconds to watch the whole thing. Pioneer Pal did an amazing job showing you what our classrooms are gonna look like, how you're gonna walk from place to place, and how we're gonna make sure everybody stays safe and healthy. So please, 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 boys and girls, please take the time to watch the reopening video before we come back to school, which you have a couple of weeks to do it. So we really appreciate it. Also, next week is Dr. Seuss week, and we have so many fun things planned for you. One of the things that we have going is a daily challenge. Each morning at 8.45 a.m. next week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, there is going to be a challenge posted in your grade level seat song. Your job is to figure out which Dr. Seuss book the student council kiddos are talking about and respond to the activity. There are definitely going to be some winners. So make sure you're looking at your grade level seesaw at 8.45 a.m. So you can be a part of the daily Dr. Seuss challenge. Now, the cool part is, is I'm going to be watching it all day long to see who the winner is. And I'm going to announce it by phone. So you'll hear me make a call to your house to tell you who the winners are of the daily Dr. Seuss challenge every day next week. So stay tuned for that. In your grade level seesaws, you're also gonna see two more Dr. Seuss things. The first is a virtual library. Lots of staff members are going to be reading Dr. Seuss books and you can listen to those readings anytime you want. So check out the virtual library, click on the book that you want to listen to and you will hear us read that story with you. That's the virtual library. The other thing that's gonna be in there for Dr. Seuss Week is a schedule for live reading. Next week, every night, there will be people reading Dr. Seuss and other stories live for you to attend via Zoom. So there's lots of stories to listen to, lots of different people reading. Talk to your grownups and set a time that you can log in and listen to a familiar story being read. I know we're super excited to read to you and we hope that you can be there. So. All that Dr. Seuss stuff is going on next week. In addition to one more thing, Mr. Danielle, what is it? Well, let me tell you, because our amazing student council came up with a great idea. So every day next week is going to be a spirit day. That's right. 
a spirit day. So Monday is Butter Battle Book Day. Bring some toaster waffles with a little bit of butter to your morning Zoom. Tuesday, Cat in the Hat Day. Wear a hat. Wednesday is Wacky Wednesday. Wear your wackiest clothes that day. All my clothes are pretty wacky, but that day, make it especially wacky. On Thursday, what pet should I get? Bring your pet or stuffed animal to your class meeting. And on Friday, it's one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Wear a red or blue shirt and eat some goldfish. Not real goldfish, but the little cookies. Those are good too. All I right, everyone. And now I'm going to pass it on to <laughs> Mrs. Bauk. Hello, everyone. Hello, Pioneers. It's birthday time, all right? We've got a lot. Hands up. So celebrating their birthday today, Friday, February 26th, we have Alima Alifaseo. We have Jay Gentry. We have Callie Brunel Sweet. We have Rocco Sparacino. And we have Liam Baisal. And we have Mrs. Leahy on the 27th. On the 28th, we have Caitlin Walters. On the 28th, we have Rourke Julio. Ajit Dhaliwal. And on the 28th, we have Gwyneth Rivas. And Emma Foley. And we have our very own Mrs. Simon. On the 1st of March, we have Ella Perrin. We have Adeline Brown. On the 3rd of March, we have Charlotte Blake, Sophia Algorin, Andrew Noble. And on the 4th, we have Madeline Marquez, Micah Moran, Brayden Lassiter, and James Wickard. Happy birthday, everyone. Happy birthday. Right. birthday. Joke of the day. Okay. What does a rain cloud wear under his rain coat? Thunderwear. Oh, oh <laughs> thunderwear. It's noisy. Oh, didn't see that one coming. <laughs> Wasn't sure what it was going to be. <laughs> All right, thank you, Mrs. Balk. It is time for Students of the Week. Here we go. All right, guys, here we go. Student of the Week, get your hands up so we can celebrate these kiddos. First up from TK, Asher Namath. Asher's a very kind-hearted boy. He doesn't like it when things don't turn out as he hopes, but he perseveres and keeps on trying. In kindergarten from Mrs. Dickie Scott, Sophie Zhang. Sophie comes to class with greetings and compliments to her friends. She's on time, works hard, and completes all of her assignments on time each day. From Miss Marabato's class, Bella Mahali. Bella has really impressed us with her reading ability. She is now a sight word master because she knows all of the kindergarten sight words and is sounding out CDC words like a pro. From Mrs. Martell's class, Allison Roa Gomez and Quentin Bickford. Allison is a superstar reader. She always comes to class with a smile and loves to learn. Quentin is always eager to learn. He participates all the time and is a math rock star. From Mrs. Peterson's class, Jackson Rowan. He is so excited to see Jackson reach for the stars every day. He's an outstanding student and has been very successful online. He's on time and always ready to learn and participate. He is a great reader, writer, and mathematician. Awesome job, kindergarten. Next up from Mrs. Gregowski's class, Matthew Villapondo. Matthew is always on time to every meeting. He works super hard to get his work done and turns in on time. He is sweet and always tries his best. From Mrs. Hooten's class, Charlotte Maxwell. Charlotte works hard in every class. She always has something silly to say, a big smile on her face, and is kind to everyone. From Mrs. Justiani's class, Stella Hanrahan. Stella 
is such a bright and fun girl. She works well independently and participates regularly in all of our meetings. She loves to read and learn. Her vocabulary and curiosity are inspiring. From Mrs. Schlemmer's class, Noble Holloway, Sophia Algren. Noble and Sophia are super students. Every day they come to meetings with smiles on their faces. They love to participate and share their ideas. From Mrs. Simon's bus, James Kenyatta. This amazing person works hard to complete every seesaw assignment. He shows up to meet, shared it on time, and did you mention that his dance moves during brain breaks are some of the best. From Mr. Max class, Marley Augustine, Barrett Pickford. Marley is an amazing writer. Her writing style is original, and she always has good suggestions on how the rest of us can make subtle changes that would make a world of difference. Barrett is an amazing kid. He is very conscientious about his work and is always glad to help make the classroom a better place. Next up in second grade, Mrs. Ayers and Mrs. Fullerton's class, Owen Robert. Owen has great attendance and rarely misses meetings. He's always on time and we never have to please worry about him leaving early. He's a hard worker and completes his assignments without being reminded. From Ms. Camacho's class, Jackson Mahalye. Jackson writing class ready to share his ideas. He is able to express himself creatively and with voice. He continually impresses us with his ability to apply new skills in writing. Woohoo! I agree, Miss Camacho. Next up for Mrs. Miles and Mrs. Garcia, Gray Gentry. Gray comes to every class meeting, shares, and works well with other students. He does a great job of getting assignments. From Mrs. Walton's class, Carson Lohner. Carson is working so hard to stay focused on task and complete all of his daily assignments. He comes to his new feet prepared and ready to learn. From Mrs. White's class, Faith Davis. Faith always comes to the meetings ready to work and with a positive attitude. She is willing to share, help others, and she works diligently to get all of her assignments done. In third grade, Mrs. Allison and Mrs. Hamilton's class, Camila Lizaraga. Camila shows up this small group giving her best effort for participation. We love to hear her contribute. Keep up the good work, Camila. From Mr. Mauer's class, Ryan Menayer. Ryan comes to Google Meet each day with his camera on. He gives good insight during class discussions. Keep it up, Ryan. From Mrs. Payne's class, Champ Kent. T26 would like to high five Champ for being nice, always turning in his seesaw when they are due, and always being ready to learn. From Mr. Riley's class, Ali Asbury and Jordan Asiadu. Both of these students have been working so hard lately to complete their reading group work. They do good work and turn in right on time. Great job, guys. From Mrs. Lokowski's class, Kennedy Sliwa. Kennedy consistently does an excellent job. She puts good forth effort. Ooh, she puts forth good effort in seesaw assignments. Always completes her minutes for I Ready and Moby Max and does an excellent job on writing. From fourth grade in Mrs. Keeper's class, Chase Sturdivant. Chase made a goal this semester to make student of the week and he did it. He works hard in all subjects, stays online after instruction to work and asks questions. He is showing dedication and responsibility for his learning. Nice. From Mrs. Subin Lossie's class, Charlotte Blake. Charlotte is very eager to share her math thinking with the class using the interactive whiteboard. She also has a positive attitude towards school. From Mrs. Udell's class, Kenley Jones. Kenley makes an effort to show up, focus, and complete assignments. Keep up the super work, Kenley. From Mr. York's class, Bella Wood. Excellent effort on I Ready, Bella. You work on the program for at least one hour each week. Wow, so much time. And you're passing with a high percentage of the lesson. Great job, Bella. From Mrs. Young's class, Eric Fu. We are very proud of Eric and the progress he is making this semester. He's doing his best to attend all the Zooms and is turning in his assignment. Keep it up, Eric. From fifth grade, Mrs. Budwine's class, Nolan Garrett and Bradley Villafane. Nolan showed great responsibility for his back his complete work to the hub. Bradley is working in the hub on his writing. Great job, guys. From Mrs. Elias's class, Brody Forgard. Santiago Ospina Nunez. Both Brody and 
Santiago are hard workers and amazing mathematicians. They are masters at multiplying fractions. From Mr. Fox's class, David Fleece Gonzalez. David has put in a great effort these last few weeks. Great job on your fighting. Keep it up. From Mrs. Soto Hernandez's class, Ali Pomeranke. Ali has been extra focused in class, working hard to ask questions and make sure she truly understands. We are really proud of you. From Mr. Lazo's class, Carson Rubel. Carson has made a fantastic transition to the hub and he has been an excellent listener. He is also following directions like a champ. From Mrs. Garcia's class, Olivia Mamian. Olivia is such a hard worker and always does her best. She does an amazing job of reading and learning her sight words. She's moving on up to the next set of words. And last but not least, from Mrs. Mannion, Aaliyah Wagner and Brody Pantoja. Aaliyah and Brody are always motivated to learn and read. They are awesome readers. Great big applause, everybody, for all of our students of the week. Well, guys, that's all I have, but I'm going to pass it right off to Mr. Graniel for one last announcement. We have a big announcement today. When Mrs. Smith's class, yes, Mrs. Smith's class, won the Sports Day Challenge. They had 100% participation in Sports Day. Let's give them a huge round of applause. everyone so we are in the end of february but we are going to be raffling off our february motivation challenge winners next week so get ready boys and girls we're gonna see six winners for the headsets also in the next challenge if 250 students meet the challenge we'll be getting iced with some big ice buckets. So next week, do your best, meet that challenge, and get ready to see all three of us extremely uncomfortable. We'll so, see. <laughs> we shall see. So we will be announcing the challenge winners next Friday on March 5th, and have a great day, Pioneers. Have an amazing weekend. Bye, Pioneers. Bye.